Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I wanna talk about one of the most popular questions over the last several weeks on all my social media, as well as here on YouTube. And that question is, will my iPhone be supported by iOS 13? Now, iOS 13 will not be shipping until September. Apple will not be releasing iOS 13 until September. But in the next several weeks on June 3rd, we'll see the first beta for iOS 13 at WWDC. I'm gonna give you guys two different scenarios. These will be based on some of the latest rumors and also my personal thoughts on which route Apple will take in regards to supporting devices with iOS 13. Now, if you remember from last year, iOS 12, what Apple said, they were gonna be doubling down on performance and stability for iOS 12, and every device that supported iOS 11 supported iOS 12. And Apple has really optimized iOS 12 to run even better on older devices than on new devices, at least in my personal experience, it seems that Apple really focused iOS 12 to run better on devices like the iPhone 5S, SE, iPhone 6, which brings me to the main topic for iOS 13 this year. Now, remember iOS 13 this year aims to redesign the user experience for iPad. We're anticipating some dark modes, some UI enhancements, a lot of new features and changes coming to the iPhone as well. And with all that being said, if Apple brings a ton of core features that have a lot of CPU intensive requirements, that means a lot of the older devices will be left behind. So scenario number one, with scenario number one, this is the one I hope doesn't happen, but could happen as well. That would be leaving out the iPhone 5S, of course, the iPhone SE, the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, as well as the sixth generation iPod Touch, iPad Air 2 and below, and iPad Mini 4 and below. This would be the worst case scenario, depending on how much CPU will be required to run iOS 13 on these devices. Now, based on some of my personal experience, I don't believe Apple will be leaving out the iPhone SE and the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. However, scenario number two seems more realistic to me, and this one is based more on my personal experience. iPhone 5S would be left out as well as iPhone 6, 6 Plus, iPod Touch 6th generation, iPad mini 1st generation and below, iPad mini 4 and below as well would be left out with scenario number two. And this is the one I believe Apple is going to go with. And the reason for that is because a lot of these devices, of course, have the older CPUs and they can't really uh, be up to par with what Apple is promising or what's rumored that Apple is promising for iOS 13. So if you have an iPhone 6 and an iPhone 5S, this could be the last major update for you, iOS 12, maybe iOS 12.4 before iOS 13 is released. Uh, that doesn't mean that your device is gonna be obsolete Elite, but you won't be receiving any major features, of course, because you'll be left out of iOS 13. However, if there's any security vulnerabilities discovered within iOS 12 before iOS 13 gets released, those older devices will be patched as well. So don't worry, Apple's really good at doing that. In my personal experience, scenario number two would seem like the most logical option that Apple go with this year with iOS 13. But of course, we'll find out on June 3rd. So be sure to stay tuned here to the channel. I hope this answers you guys' questions. Question. Thank you for watching today's video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.